It's one of those countries where you can hop between states and places to see a totally different side to the country, which is actually a pretty great experience. Over the years, I've been on a few road trips around the United States and totally relish any opportunity to just hop in a car or train if your route takes you to explore its vastness. In this video, we're going to be taking a look at the top 10 places to visit on the east coast of the USA. And just wait until you see the number one that we're going to be showing in this video. Something you would have never even thought of. So make sure you watch till the end. Before we begin, you can help support our channel by becoming a member of this channel. Press the join button below. This will help us to bring you more awesome travel videos. Now, let's cut to the chase. At number 10, Salem, Massachusetts. Another Massachusetts favorite that is sure to bewitch you is Salem. Sorry, I couldn't resist. Learn about its dark history, visit sites like the Witch Trial Memorial and the Old Burying Point Cemetery. Spend some time at the one-of-a-kind Witch Museum, go back in time by taking a ride on the famed schooner and have a fun day at the Salem Willows Park. Needless to say, the best time to visit Salem is October when the witching hour is in full swing. For a tasty, totally local microbrew experience, head over to Salem Beer Works that have a pretty select range of amazing beers that change almost every week. Number 9. Boston, Massachusetts Boston is a must-visit city not just for its pivotal role in the history of the United States, but because it has so much more to offer. If it's your first visit to the city, pop into the historical landmarks like Plymouth Rock, walk the Freedom Trail, explore Beacon Hill, head to the Charles River Esplanade, or just take a breather at the Boston Public Garden or the totally pretty Acorn Street. From here, you can also head over to Harvard, one of the United States' most famous schools. The whole area is brimming with little cafes, shops, and historic red brick houses too. Oh, also, if you're hankering for a taste of the city, indulge in a Boston cream pie whilst you're here. At number 8, White Mountains, New Hampshire. The White Mountains are a nature lover's dream spot. I promise you, if you're looking for a little slice of East Coast charm away from the cities, you'll love this area. There's a whole community of businesses and people that really embrace this gorgeous landscape, with things like horseback rides, moose safaris, tubing in the Seiko River, which is totally beautiful, and kayaking. If you're looking for more of a challenge, there's a whole heap of pretty tough mountain climbs, I'm naming you Mount Washington, where you can work up a decent sweat and earn your dinner. Next up at number 7, Portland, Maine. Portland is a charming town with gorgeous waterfront views that will win your heart, I'm sure. The old port with its beautiful 19th century buildings, cobblestone streets, craft shops, bookstores and brick sidewalks will almost make you feel like you've swung it back in time. It's so traditional and a must-see. If art is more your thing, the Portland Museum of Art, with its renowned exhibitions and the impressive permanent collection, is also a must-see. Of course, you cannot miss the iconic Portland Headlight, which was built in 1791 and is the oldest lighthouse that is still being used in the US. You can even take a cruise or go whale watching too. In my opinion, the East Coast has some of the best local lobster I've ever tasted. If you're hankering for a bite to eat, pop into Eventide Oyster for some yummy local seafood. I swear you'll love it. Next up at number 6, Miami, Florida. Miami is vibrant, outlandish, sunny and totally unique. Filled with some of the best restaurants, art deco architecture and happening nightlife, Miami is the place to be. Spend some time at Little Havana, enjoy Cuban food at the Versailles restaurant, experience nature at its best at the Everglades National Park, shop at Lincoln Road, and end the night with some salsa dancing at one of the many clubs that'll keep you up till the wee hours. And now at number 5, Washington, D.C. Your trip to the East Coast is incomplete without a visit to the capital of the United States. If you're hankering for some history, you'll love the iconic landmarks like the Lincoln Memorial, the U.S. Capitol, the Supreme Court, and the most famous house in the United States, the White House. I totally loved visiting the city, with one of my favourite areas being Georgetown. It totally has a small town, historic vibe, with gorgeous coffee shops, independent stores, and a whole lot of pretty buildings to enjoy. The city also has some of the best museums in the country, including the National Museum of American History, Smithsonian National Museum of Natural History, National Gallery of Art, United States Holocaust Memorial Museum, and even a quirky international spy museum. Oh, and don't forget to spend an afternoon at the Eastern Market, explore the city on a bike, and gorge at Buzzboys and Poets that serve the best coconut tofu bites and waffles too. At four, 
Baltimore, Maryland. From the quirky harbour area where you can experience street entertainers, concerts and parades, to trendy shops, interesting museums, lip-smacking restaurants, quaint wineries, unique landmarks and more, Baltimore will charm your socks off. After all, it's not called the Charm City for nothing, ha! Huh. If you want to experience an old English village, head to Fells Point, which is the oldest part of Baltimore. Oh, also, you can't leave without trying some of the best crab cakes that Baltimore has to offer at the Thames Street Oyster House. Yum! At 3. Roanoke, Virginia This historic city is set against the backdrop of the stunning Blue Ridge Mountains. There are literally hundreds of different hiking trails making it the perfect summer spot if you're looking for a little slice of nature. Fall is definitely a period when lots of people visit, especially to see the change of season. It really looks magical when the leaves change to a deep red. Though, to be honest, you don't need to reserve your time to fall to visit, and you can see the historic spots like St Andrew's Cathedral at any time of the year. Whenever you decide to come, make sure you visit the gorgeous Carvins Cove Natural Reserve and the Roanoke Valley Greenways, which are stunning to explore. You won't regret it. And number two, New York City, New York. So good they named it twice. Now you can't even speak about the East Coast without mentioning New York City, can you? This magical city may seem overwhelming at first, but spend a few days here and we guarantee that you will fall in love with its energy and vibe. There's just so much to see and do here that boredom is simply not an option. Obviously, if you're visiting for the first time, you need to visit some of the most iconic sites for sure. Ramble over to the iconic Times Square, watch a Broadway show or two, visit Lady Liberty and Ellis Island, have a picnic at Central Park and see the sunset from the Empire State Building. If you've been to New York before and you've checked off the usual suspects, make sure you take some time to explore some of the more secret spots in the city. Head over to Williamsburg for a great night out or some of the restaurants in Hell's Kitchen. Trust me, it isn't as hellish as it sounds. Ha! <laughs> and finally, in at number one, drum roll please for Fort Lauderdale, Florida. After our five day trip recently, I'm already itching to get back to this area and explore more. Now, lots of people seem to perch Fort Lauderdale as an offshoot of Miami. I assure you, it's not. It has a very different vibe and identity that's pretty amazing if you want a mix of chill time, culture and a heap of gorgeous natural sights to enjoy. Unlike Miami, Fort Lauderdale's beaches are much quieter and peaceful, but just as, if not more, beautiful, which are great for a little splash around in the sun. If you're looking for art, head over to Hollywood, Florida. That's right, next door to the city. Here you'll find a community that's built a reputation for incredible street art from creatives from all over the world. If nature is more your thing, pop out to the Everglades and enjoy some of the local wildlife. You'll almost certainly spot a few alligators whilst you're there. And there you have the top 10 most beautiful places to visit on the east coast of the USA. Did you like what you saw? Let us know in the comments down below. Share this video with your friends and don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more fantastic travel guides. See you next time!